coronavirus pandemic and the sudden need to separate ourselves from each other has changed how we live, work, and even how we eat and drink. As businesses try to adapt to a world where everybody wants to avoid human contact, robots have quickly risen as a possible solution, offering the same level of service without any of the interaction. Wuwa Brothers, operator of food delivery company Petal Minjok, or Paymin, has already started to realize that futuristic vision. Wuwa Brothers commercialized the serving robot Dilly Plate in November and plans to commercialize Dilly Tower, which is able to drive himself around buildings delivering food and drinks within this year. Even though it's a robot, we still have to operate it. And since it doesn't act on its own, I didn't have high hopes for it. But it definitely has been helpful. The most important thing is that I get less people-related stress. When working with people, there are many issues that could occur, such as tardiness, absence, illness. And depending on how they are feeling, the way they treat the customers differs each day. But if 70 points is set as the average score, the robot isn't above it, but it doesn't go below it either. Our customers seem to think that the robots are safer than regular waiters. Because of the serving robots, there needs to be a lot of space between tables. The disadvantage here is that the store has to be quite spacious, but at the moment, this acts as a great advantage. The biggest change since COVID-19 is that the robot market has opened up faster than we expected, said Joseph Kim, head of robot business development at Ua Brothers. The biggest change is that the robot market has opened up a lot faster than we expected, and this is both a big change and a threat for us, as it is overwhelming to try and catch up with this sudden change in the market. I think these robots will be of great use in a post-COVID-19 world, where there will be more remote services available. Uwa Brothers one day hopes robots will be able to pick up an order from a restaurant, drive themselves to the delivery destination while following traffic rules and avoiding obstacles, and safely deliver the food. But commercializing such robots is expected to take some time as current traffic regulations bar robots from operating in public facilities like roads and parks. Uwa Brothers are not the only ones experimenting with robots in the COVID-19 pandemic. GS Retail signed a memorandum of understanding with LG Electronics in July to use robots to deliver products inside buildings where a GS25 convenience store is located. CJ Foodville started using a robotic hand that cooks noodles at four of its Vips buffet restaurants in recent months. Aside from robots, the sudden push to avoid human contact has led to a huge increase in the popularity of online shopping and retailers are struggling to keep up. In order to match the demand, companies are rushing to open dark stores, which are spaces that look like shops, but only cater to orders for delivery or collection. Dark stores handle last mile delivery, the rapid movement of goods from a transportation hub to the final delivery destination. When we think of supermarkets, the image that we picture in our head will generally be like this. However, dark stores are a little different. Emart opened its version of a dark store in its branch in Chungu in central Seoul in January. An entire floor of the Emart store has been redesigned to facilitate picking and packing with conveyor belts and wider aisles for pickers to move around more easily. Although the rush to welcome robots into our lives and handle all our shopping from home might have been prompted by the coronavirus pandemic, these trends were already visible in the retail industry. Looking past COVID-19, it's likely these changes are here to stay.